Had a long day? Join RB in the cheap seats where the beer tastes better and the games always matter. So today is a special edition of the cheap seats. We had we had to class up the joint a little bit today, bring in a class act, head coach Tony Robichaux of the Rage and Cajun Baseball Program. And uh, Coach Robe, first off, it's an honor to have you on my program. This is the first time I've been able to sit in studio with you. Most of the time it's at press conferences, and i got to you know, raise my hand, ask, ask a question and everything. So first off, it's, it's an honor to have you on the program. Thanks for coming by. Well, we appreciate you inviting me, and today you don't have to raise your hand, so no questions off limits today. All right, well, I might still raise my hand out of habit, so if I do, just call on me. Okay, okay. I'll All do right. it. Uh, we're going to get into some direct nuts and bolts from your baseball team in just okay. a second because I know your fans are just itching to hear about some of the stuff from the MLB draft and summer okay. league stuff. But before we do, to kind of set the tone for the show today, I, I said kind of the title I've had working in my head is kind of making of a man. And the reason why is we've been privy to your press conferences and your speeches all year long. Sometimes we'll hold you in a room for 30 minutes or so, but y- you've taught me a lot of lessons, whether you realize it or not, about manhood and, and the way that men should carry themselves and the way that boys turn into men and everything like that. And I guess the way I want to tee up the, the rest of the show is by asking you a question, and it's a bit of a long one. It, people have asked me before, I'm 25, I'm turning 26 this year, and they've asked me before about how I view myself or anything like that, and I've said, I, I'm a young man at this phase. And it, it always feels weird to me because I feel like, what are you expecting me to say? Oh, yes, I became a man on December 24th, <laughs> 2015, or anything like that. And I think it's just if people view it that way, they have it all wrong. Because in my very young amateur opinion, the best way to become a better man is to always try to better yourself. Whether that's as a, a better worker or a better husband, a better father, a better anything that you can apply yourself to. I feel like that's the best way to try to become a better man is to never stop looking for ways to become better. Well, I, am, am, I on, am I on the right track here? Yeah, I mean, that, that's a very mature way to look at it because at the end of the day, you know, um, there's no way we can become what God intended us to be without change, first of all. Um, second thing is, is, is God put a, a, a warrior mentality in all men, and, and that warrior mentality was supposed to be used for self-improvement because that would be the biggest battle really over our whole life. We, we, we expect people to change around us. Uh, we expect all our circumstances around us to change. But, but your circumstances around you are never going to change and be, uh, until you change. Um, and I've always told the players this, you know, if your circumstances around you are not changing, then God's not finished changing you yet inside your circumstances. And so to be a man, um, you have to fight for self-improvement. And the trouble we have today is we get caught up in a cultural measurement. And as a man, we, we want to show somebody how big my house is, my car is, uh, how much money I have. And so we get into false interpretations of really what a man truly is. I mean, the good Lord had some sandals and a donkey. And, and you know, we, we have a tendency as men to get in a cultural measurement. We're going to try to compete for somebody else's wife, somebody else's job, somebody else's money. And, and God wants us to compete for self-improvement. And that's a hard thing to do uh, because we want to fix everybody else and leave us where we're at. But we can't do that. And, and so it takes, a, it takes a mature person to understand that I've got to work on me. I've got to continue to fix, on me, fix me. And it's a never-ending journey. Um, but a lot of people don't understand this. A journey towards something is actually a journey away from something. So you're going to have to journey away from a lot of things to become a man because you're going to journey to something else. Our players can't steal second base with their first, with their foot still on first base. And so you can't unhitch your boat and want to cross the river and, and yet not unhitch it. I mean, you're not going to get across. And so that's the toughest thing about this journey is to fight for self-improvement. In closing, I tell our players this all the time. Don't knock on my door in the fall and come in and tell me you want to beat somebody out of their position or you want to be the starting first baseman or you want to be the starting shortstop. What I want you to do is knock on my door and come in and tell me how you've improved. 
fight for self-improvement. Why don't you win the award at the end of the fall for the most self-improved as a person? And so I, I tell them all the time, we have to grow first, and then we can grow the team. You can't put bad people in an organization and expect the organization to be good. So for the listeners out there, that's the type of show it's going to be today. Uh, I have questions on faith, responsibility, uh, morals, a lot of things that I think that you'll be interested in, even if you're not a baseball fan. So please stick around. It's, it's going to be a special edition of the Cheap Seats here on ESPN 1420 and .com. Come back. We're going to start diving through these questions on my list. How to become a better man. That's right. Come on back. Welcome back into the Cheap Seats here on ESPN 1420 and ESPN1420.com. Special guest Tony Robichaux in here hanging out with me. And I've, I've called this episode, maybe it might be the first installment, of uh, Making of a Man. And the reason I, I said so is because you've taught a lot of people in your program and around your program a lot of lessons about manhood, whether you like it or not. <laughs> um, and the, the first question, I kind of want to go from the beginning and work our way through. Whenever you were growing up, uh, not necessarily. I've asked you about how you learned how to become a baseball coach and everything like that. But how did you learn your lessons about work ethic? Like, how, who taught you what hard work really even means? Well, we lived on about a hundred acres. My dad was a butcher, and um, you know we had a slaughterhouse out by. We were lived eight miles out of Crowley. So if you were bad, I mean, you went work. You know, at the slaughterhouse. So there were ways. Um, you know that. That, that you understood what you needed to do, and, 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 and he kept us in line. And, uh, you know, they, they put us in Catholic schools, and I found that we had great mentors. And being in athletics for so long, I think, helped us stay connected and, 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 and taught us a lot of good things. And I had a lot of great, not only a good father, but also a great mom uh, who, who, who really, really is a, a great Christian. She taught us the... I think the the servant side, you know, if we came home with any kind of ego, um, we surely didn't leave the next day with it. You know, uh, she kept us in check. So, you know, nobody's perfect. Believe me, um, it, it's it's a tough, tough battle working to be a man. But the reason I want it so much for them is because, you know, it, it, I tell them the first day when they check in with us that you can read the Bible cover to cover. Nowhere in there does it say you got to be a baseball player, but it's pretty clear on what kind of man you need to become. And you know, I tell them to go home and ask their mom and dad after the first team meeting I have with them, ask them how the curveball or slider has helped their marriage. And, and baseball is going to play a very small part in their life, you know. But if you teach them, you know, how to handle fear through it, you know, accountability through it, responsibility, it's not fair. So it's a great microcosm of life. And how they handle the compete on the field and at practice is how they're going to compete later in life. And so we, we really want to treat them like a table. You know, we want, we want to build their four legs, their academic leg, their social leg, their, their spiritual leg, and then their athletic leg. What they want to work on is their athletic leg and their social leg most of the time. So we have to come in and help build up these other two legs because if I let them just fight and, and drink and party, they're going to call home and tell mom and dad the first week they love it here. Believe me. The trouble is they leave me a one-legged table. And then when life's burdens get put on their table, they're not going to hold much. And so what we want to do is we want to make sure we strengthen those four legs because if a kid doesn't get drafted, like a couple of the kids that did in this senior class, they leave us at 22. So if they go on to live to 82, God willing, and stay healthy, that's 60 more years he's going to live on who he is as a man, not on who he was as a baseball player. And that's the toughest teach for them because, believe me, they want to live the rest of their life on who they were as an athlete. And, and, and the other part is tough in becoming a man. And, and parents out there believe that, you know, um, there, there's a misnomer that they think that if I just put my kids in athletics, you know, he's going to gain character and he's going to gain leadership by playing a sport. That doesn't happen. There's only one way for that to happen, that the coach has to be willing to teach, teach it and then model it. And there's this only way they're going to get it. And it's also as parents, we can't lay our life. If our life is all in disarray and we lay it over the top of our children, their lives are going to be in disarray because they're looking at what we teach and 
and what we're modeling. See, it's easy to teach it. It's easy for me to teach it to them. The biggest tough part is, is for me to model it and to model it every day and to model it in front of 4,000 people, 10,000 people when things are going your way and you want to walk into the stands and this guy hollering at you. I mean, there's a lot of things you got to work on to continue to model it for them because if you don't model it, you know, they're not going to get it. And this is what's wrong with so many of our, our youth complexes today. You know, a while back they had to stop because, you know, the bleachers, the parents were fighting in the bleachers and, and everything. How is that modeling to them, to that kid? I mean, you not only have to teach it, but you have to be willing to model it for them to get it. They're not going to get it just by putting them and letting them go play a sport. No, and I'll admit – and I, I don't want to toot my own horn, but I feel like some radio hosts would shy away from the next question I'm about to ask. But I had Sally Guillory on my show for an mm-hmm. entire hour to talk about faith mm-hmm. and how important faith is in her life. And I'm not I'm not scared of talking about faith over the airwaves because I feel like if it comes in a positive form, what, what, what should anyone be scared or uncomfortable about? And my question to you about faith is... Why Why is it still such a strong pillar in your program and the way you mold boys into men? And in your respective way, what are the ways that your faith has, has made you a better, stronger man? Well, there, there's two things that I look at, you know, about the scared part and the politically correct part and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. At the end of the day, um, a guy got wrongly accused of something that he didn't do, and he died a thief's death. Uh, they didn't throw him a banquet to honor him. Uh, he died a thief's death, and he did that for me. And, and, and just picture somebody in your life dying for you that's very close to you. You mean to tell me you'd be too fearful to thank them publicly for that? I mean, I'm not. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sitting here today saying everybody has to believe what I believe. No. At all. Exactly. Uh, I'm saying that somebody died for me that was wrongly accused, and he did it for me. So, so... And I also believe my second goal in this has always been I believe I'm going to face him one day, and I think he's going to ask me this question. I sent you over 500 boys. Tell me what you did with them. Did you expose them to me? Did you talk to them about me? Uh, Did you help them uh, work on self-improvement and not only become a father but a godly father? Or did you try to help him to be a godly man and not just a man? And what am I going to say to that? I helped Reagan Bazaar throw 99. Um, I helped Trosclair hit a slider, you know, or maybe I'm the winningest coach in UL history. I don't, I don't really believe that's the answer he's going to be looking for. So because of that, I want to have an answer for him. I want to be prepared. I want to be able to say, this is what I did with these boys that you sent me. And, 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 and those are my two goals, um, and, and, and uh, they've always been that way, you know. Um, we, 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 we really believe in our program we want to teach them how to live right side up in an upside down world, and that's hard to do today, very hard to do today. Um, and we tell them that in the recruiting process. I mean, look at kids today. I can take one of my players and put him in a, uh, a sand pit in 100-degree heat right now, and, and, and a 400-pound tractor tire, he'll flip it for hours to try to get a Major League Baseball contract. But later that night, when he goes out and to an apartment and two or three guys are rolling weed and, you know, they got porn on the TV, he don't do anything. He sits down. And that's what's wrong in our country today. we got too many people that sit down when it's time to stand up. And I want to teach them how to stand up. Is it going to be easy? No, man. I mean... Every, the greater the level, the greater the devil. So if you're not ready, if you, if you don't want to stand up, then, then don't stand up. Sit down. Sit down and stay in the fetal position where it's nice and easy and nobody can take a shot at you. But I, w- I don't want them to be those kind of men. I want them to be able to leave here and, and try to go glorify the things that I think we should be glorifying. And I think that's what's changed in our country today. I think the lenses have changed Society has changed our lenses on how we see things. And so I think what we try to do is, through the game of baseball, is try to rechange those lenses and get them back looking through what we feel is the proper lenses for them to live their life and to live a life. Because, look, man, when they leave here, you know, it's not going to be easy, you know. I mean, and they're going to have to stand up somewhere along the way. And I don't want them to stand up to play a sport, the reason they stand up to play a sport and flip that track to tar and put in all that time is because we glorify the athlete today. We glorify athletics. 
But I want you to notice something. Every time an athlete gets in trouble, no matter what sport, he will not have gotten trouble over his sport. So when one of the running backs, you know, punched his wife or any of that stuff happens, okay, then, then, then it's not their sport getting him in trouble. It wasn't his vertical leap. It wasn't his ability to throw hard or run the football that got him in trouble. What got him in trouble is who he is as a man. And what we do along the way to a lot of these athletes is we turn our heads. We stop developing their moral side, and we continue to glorify the athletic side. And so that's all he knows. And so by day, he's an athlete, and then by night, he gets in trouble. And let's face it, when they get in trouble, they, their sport doesn't get them in trouble. What gets them in trouble is who they are as a man. And, and, and the reason they'll do all the work to be an athlete is because that's what we glorify. People mm-hmm. matriculate to what we glorify. Yeah. But we don't glorify the moral courage side. There's not many articles being read about, written about what a kid did morally in school. But there's a lot of articles written about he got drafted and he got all this money because that's the side we glorify. So what happens to the moral side? Their moral side gets recessed. What I have to do or what we should be doing as coaches, I believe, in this country, is we should be driving back up that other side so that when he gets out, you know, he's got still the athletic side, but he also has his moral side, too, so that he doesn't beat his wife, you know? He he doesn't sit there and do things that he shouldn't be doing because he's not a man. And, I, again, I'm just – I'm a very young man, but in, in my few years – it seems like a lot of what manhood is is dealing with responsibility. How no how do you deal with accountability with, with weight when it's placed on your back and on your shoulders, whether that's in the form of the responsibility you hold to your family, sure, and to provide for them the responsibility you hold for someone else's children that they send to you and say, I, I have a young developing young man. I'd like you to continue this process. And you gave a great quote uh, on your season ending press conference about getting down in the arena and fighting with the bull. Mm-hmm. Said it, it's much easier to stay in the stands and sure. not go down and fight the bull. Sure, but how how have you convinced yourself over the years and the way you convince your your players that look, it's always worth it. It's always worth it to go down and fight the bull because otherwise you're just passing the buck, basically. Well, no doubt. I mean, I mean, ultimately, you know, you 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 want to be a man, and and ultimately your goal is is to be able to stand up and stand up for the things that are right. Uh, to be a perfect man, you're not going to be that. I mean, that's the trouble we have in our country do. They take people like maybe myself or anybody that's trying to teach boys to be men, and they want to destroy you first and prove that you're not perfect. Why would you be teaching these guys? And this is what scares people to lead. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We could do another show if you want to on all the bad stuff I've ever done. I mean, there's a list of That sounds like a good show. You know what I'm saying? I mean, my wife saved me in 1988, and I'm ever indebted to her for that. Because we have, somebody has to save us. I mean, we, we as a man, we born with a disease called pride. We think we're going to save ourselves, And we run around going, I got this, I got this, I got this, I got this, until you get dropped to your knees, and then you're going to figure out that somebody's got to save you from you. So what I want to do with our players is I want to try to save them from them because I've made all the mistakes that they're going to be challenged with. And if we can help them through their learning curve, um, you know, uh, and help them get through that, in better shape because believe me college is a very tough time these kids come out from going to church with their parents a lot through high school they're connected a lot to their parents they aren't coming home drunk the parents are seeing them they've got curfew but then they get dumped into college and then all of a sudden you know it's coming back to the dorm or to the apartment that night and they start to figure out man i'm mom and dad are nowhere around so so what am i going to do now you know, now that, that I've got freedom to make choices. And that's the greatest thing about the Lord is that he doesn't make the choices for us. I mean, he could have easily fixed this and said, hey, you know, I'm going to make all the choices for you. But he doesn't. He allows us to choose whether we're going to succeed or fail. But we have a tendency sometimes to blame it on our failures on other people. And we look outside of ourselves instead of inside of ourselves. And so what we want to try to teach them is you've got to be able to look in. You've got to fix you first. If you can't fix you, you're never going to fix anybody else. And you can't get over a hurdle or get somebody else over a hurdle that you're not willing to get over. So I'm not teaching them because I'm perfect. I wasn't picked to teach them because I'm perfect. I mean, I'm not. But what you have to, what you have to do is you got to teach them that God wants you to make progress. He doesn't want you to be perfect. He wants you to make progress. And so many times we fail 
and we think we're done. It's over, you know. I mean, but it's not. But but we we have to be able to understand that and move forward. And so the biggest goal for us right now, what we've tried to do is try to just teach them how to use the game of baseball, and not let the baseball, the game of baseball, use them. And responsibility, I said, is is just a huge part of it because the way you react to it. And uh, the other the other part that I think of really tests people is unexpected issues because it's very easy to plan and to write out bullet points okay i'm going to do this in december of 2016 then by 2020 i want to be here and everything but sure. the biggest test is is how you respond to unexpected issues over your years of of coaching being a father everything else how how have you learned to deal with the unexpected things well i think i think you have to understand that again there's no perfect clubhouse as we tell the players this when they arrive there's no perfect clubhouse um Arizona or anybody that wins a national championship, all the teams that are there, they're not there because their clubhouses are perfect and that they're all perfect people. What they did was they managed the conflict that gets brought up in a clubhouse. See, there's no perfect marriage. The two people stay together not because they 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 perfect. They got a perfect marriage. They stay together because they handle the conflict that comes up into the marriage. You follow me? Mm -hmm. And so life's about being able to handle the conflict. And I tell them the first day they arrive, you can't teach a guy to climb mountains on a flat road. So it's not my job to make it soft for you from tomorrow morning at 6 o'clock when they meet with me on Sunday. Tomorrow morning at 6, you're going to start climbing. We're going to start teaching you how to be a climber. And that's what's wrong with a lot of parents out there today in our country and what our society's feeding our our kids is that they can it's a big lie it tells them they can do everything fast and easy and with no discipline and that's a lie yeah there's no, you can very hardly can you do something legally fast and easy and with no discipline you follow me oh yeah but but society wants us to believe that so that we'll purchase it we'll buy it and that's the problem it's kind of like cash the dog you know the greyhound dog one morning they said hey get ready we got a big race it's like ten thousand dollar prize and he said i'm not running anymore and those those greyhounds they they chase that fake mechanical rabbit you know at a greyhound race, and 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 they say the cash the dog said I'm not going no more I'm not running no more and they said why are you not going to run don't you like the way we treat you and how much money you've made he said I love money but he said I, I just found out something this morning that mechanical rabbit I can't catch it, but in life you know what we have we have so many people in our country that they get up they get on that track, and they get up they get on that track, get up they get on that track, get up they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track, and they get up, they get on that track, and they get up, they get on that track, and they get up, they get on that track, and they get up, they get on that track, and they get up, they get on that track, and they get up, they get on that track, and they get up, they get on that track, and they get up, they get on that track, and they get up, they get on that track, and they get up, they get on that track, and they get up, they get on that track, and they get up, they get on that track, and they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. 
and they'd get up, they'd get on that track, and they'd get up, they'd get on that track, and they'd get up, they'd get on that track, and they'd get up, they'd get on that track, and they'd get up, they'd get on that track, and they'd get up, they'd get on that track, and they'd get up, they'd get on that track, and they'd get up, they'd get on that track, and they'd get up, they'd get on that track, and they'd get up, they'd get on that track, and they'd get up, they'd get on that track, and they'd get up, they'd get on that track, and they'd get up, they'd get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. And they get up, they get on that track. 
and they get up, they get on that track, and they get up, they get on that track. 